This is a dovetail joint. Well, kind of. I just recently started woodworking and I wanted to make a box for my first thing. And after looking up a bunch of ways to join a box, uh, I came across this dovetail joint. Little did I know it's one of the hardest joints to make, especially if you're new to it. I purchased a bunch of MDF boards from Home Depot just to see if I can get some practice going cutting out dovetail joints, and I wasn't able to cut a straight line. I managed to cut joints along the lines that I drew here, so I figured it was about time to finally start making a dovetail. So I bought a circular saw, I went to cut, and then I made these. For keen eyes out there, they are kind of not square or lined up in any way. What I actually did is I was trying to saw down the lines and then one side was higher than the other so then I took this trusty little, just a little flat saw like this and I tried to saw down the lines and I ended up angling in a bit too much and that's how I ended up with these little L brackets. But that wasn't gonna stop me from making the dovetail. And marking and measuring and cutting led me to this. This lovely little joint. Now you can see the joint is actually um, not aligned. It uh, has a little bit of gaps here and there. Uh, not bad for the first time. It's horrible for the first time. With everything that starts off horrible, you know there's room for improvement. So then came dovetail number two. So dovetail number two ended up being pine. Now, check this out. A lot closer together, and I kind of just threw sawdust in there to make it look like I had no gaps, but yeah, you can clearly tell there's gaps in there. But this gave me the confidence to say like, okay, cool, I can make dovetail joints now. And I did it with a board that was not expensive to buy, so I count this as a win. So after moving from pine, it made me want to go to dovetail number three. Using the expensive birch wood again. This is dovetail number three, right? And now if we compare this one to this one, you can see it's slightly better. Oh, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. Still more gaps in there, but you can tell that I definitely made a lot of progress on using hardwoods. So then I went back to pine, and here came dovetail number four. And number four did not turn out well, unfortunately. And all the practice led me to making number five. Now, to date, I think this is my best dovetail joint. There's only one small gap that you can see right in the middle, and that was because I switched saws um, mid-dovetail joint. I was using these Japanese pull saws, then I got one of these dovetail saws with a handle, and I wanted to see if it was actually uh, any better than these Japanese saws. Little did I know, the blades are actually thicker. This one has a smaller curve than this one, and that's what led to the little gap in my dovetail joint. Had I not done that, I probably would have had the perfect joint there. But, at least now I know, don't switch blades mid-dovetail joint. So after making five different dovetails, what does this all mean? To be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember why I wanted to make dovetail joints. Turns out they're very hard, and uh, it was fun though. In the future though, I want to start making them again, but for right now, I have a little plan of things I want to make. So I think I'm gonna make a box for my first little real project, and then I guess move on to household stuff that I need, maybe even a cutting board, and then just whatever I can think of with wood. So I have made some sketch-ups of things that I want to do. So it's just a little box that I have to hold, uh, I guess, the um, measuring tapes and the marking gauges, the marking lines that I have, just so I can have everything to hold it in because uh, I don't really have have anywhere to store my tools. So I guess that might be down the line of what I want to make. Just something I can organize my tools with. I'll be making a whole bunch of projects in the future. Uh, whatever I can think of, I'll try and jot it down there. And then whatever you guys suggest I should learn next, or if you have any suggestions on things I should do, I guess. Stuff in general where like, I can have tips and tricks on how to do things a lot easier, please, by all means, let me know. Because the more things I learn, the faster I can start making bigger and greater projects. Thank you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, bye.